Thank you. Richard Fuller, please. Uh, thank you, uh, Chair. Thank you, Minister. Um, can I just turn to the historic shortfall scheme, mm. Minister, uh, and the number of claims that were made? Uh, do you think that the estimates were vastly underestimated? I think there were. Um, uh, the number was a lot of the people that actually applied was a lot higher than the post office first anticipated. Why was that? I think it's difficult to, um, as we, again, as we've already heard, it's difficult to assess um, with incomplete records over such a long period of time, over a 20-odd year um, period of time. I mean, would, that be, would that be fair, Tom? Yes. Um, it's very difficult to, to, I mean, clearly the degree of losses and, and disaffection and unhappiness with the system, both the horizon system and the and the processes around it, as Fre Justice Fraser pointed out, were clearly much more extensive than post office expected. So the initial estimate we saw for historic shortfall scheme was a couple of hundred. And obviously, it turned into many, many more than that. A couple of hundred claims? Yes. Our colleague, Mr. Kevin Jones, the MP for North Durham, said in a Westminster Hall debate, uh, on this, that the post office, quote, the post office has no idea. In its accounts, it budgeted for £35 million pounds of compensation. The figure is now estimated to be more than £300 million. Pounds. Do you recognise those figures broadly correct? I do yeah. not. Mm -hmm. £35 million was the initial ex estimate. That's correct. The current estimate of the cost of the historic shortfall scheme is £153 million, which is what was in the accounts, last accounts, and that will be updated when the new accounts are, are published. And your expectation is it will be updated upwards? Not necessarily. I think okay. as of, it's not clear that it needs to move significantly either way, actually, based on the information we have currently. But it's still five times what the estimate was. Absolutely, yes. Who is going to be held accountable and how are they going to be held to account for that? I think there's clearly going to be a, a, a big wash up right at the end of, of, of when we've gone through the shortfall schemes, we've gone through the inquiry, we'll have a rounded picture. And I think that, that that's the time to... Someone will be held to, to, to account, to, Minister. Well, 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 clearly, I mean, you know, we, we obviously have um, a Tom is the uh, representative of UKGI on the board there that's, uh, that is making sure that uh, he can get to the best information as, um, coming from the board as, uh, as possible and, these, and working through these estimates. Um, Carl and the post office team within Bayes uh, have regular discussions with, with the post office and making sure that we can um, uh, hold their feet to the fire on, yeah. on, on the information that we, we get, um, the best, um, uh, best information that we get. But clearly we want to make sure that uh, the post office is in the best place it can be to move forward. When, we once, all want to move forward, Minister. We, have we all want to, to move forward, Minister. We all want to move forward, Minister. But one of the concerns is that perhaps that underestimate has meant that there's been a consequence that fewer, only 30% of claims have been processed, so that's, that's actually caused a greater delay. Is that true? I think actually, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think actually what, what, what happened at the beginning, why it was slow to, to, uh, to, to come through, there was a lot of de minimis claims that, uh, that we had to go through, the ones were at the far lower end of the spectrum in terms of compensation, because clearly some people will have lost significantly uh, more money than others in consequential losses and the like. Yeah, uh, I think that's accurate. I think it took a little bit of time for the independent panel to get started and to agree the principles which are now you know, in a good position to be rolled out and for those claims to be yeah. processed quickly, as Nick Reid was saying in your earlier session. Um, I'm not sure that it is a, a, a bad thing on the face of it that the number of postmasters who applied was higher than originally estimated, but you are quite right and we have been scrutinising the post office's performance because of the, of the delays that have happened. But I think you've already heard today about various steps that we have encouraged the company to make, such as doubling the size of the panel, increasing the frequency of meetings and so on. Um, so we're confident that it will move forward well now and more than 2,000 postmasters stand to benefit from the HSS scheme. It sounds like you're satisfied that after initially slow start, the post office has speeded up its process fairly well. Can I ask uh, you, Minister, about the alternative, distribu distribution, alternative dispute resolution uh, process? Mm. Um, you may not have these figures to hand, but can you say how many disputes have been settled and in whose favour under the uh, the alternative dispute resolution. What in, in terms of the post office? Yes. Uh, I I'm happy to take this. Yeah. So this refers to those cases that have had um, convictions yeah. overturned yeah. Uh, and working through the court. Yeah. So um, there have not yet been any settled cases through that process, but we have been working actively with the post office to put in place the process for handling 
um, the full claims beyond the interim payments which we have already made and discussed today. Two offers have already been made to one of the law firms that represents some of the um, some of the claimants, and the process that is being followed, which we have agreed with the post office, is to uh, apply the principles which build upon case law and so on to a couple of early test cases, and that will then set the framework in the same way as the principles for the HSS will help with the processing of those claims. Essentially, it is a, a bit of a sort of legal, legalistic or, or legal engagement between the company and the claimants via the solicitors. But we are closely involved in the ADR process and can say more if you, if you would like to hear more. I appreciate it.